or welcome to my channel. So I wanted to do kind of a week in my life slash outfit of the week video. So what I do when I do these is just say what I'm wearing that day, what I'm doing that day, and like kind of show little clips in between. I recently did my holiday outfits video. I did 27 different outfits and one of them was this. So today I'm going to bop around New York City. My friend Leah and I, we've been planning to go to Bimmelman's, this bar, for like three weeks. We're very excited. We were like, December 2nd, we're gonna have our holiday day. We don't really have like set plans, but, but we're thinking to do like uptown, you know, Ben Moments is up, I think at the Carlisle or one of those, the Carlisle, right? The reason that we wanna go to this bar is because the wallpaper is really unique. It has like different parts of New York City painted along it. It's been like, what's the word? Preserved for years and years and years, like literally over a hundred years, I think. It was like the 1920s that this guy lived in the building and like was paid through painting the walls and like the core and stuff. So we're really freaking pumped. So hopefully we get in because there's no reservation. So we're just going to have to stand there and figure it out. Maybe do some window shopping, go to the plaza, maybe take some pictures. Just like have a, you know, New York Christmas day. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Mallory. I live in New York. Do a lot of thrifting, vlogging, fashion things, trends, forecasting. I'm going to be doing a lot of department stuff coming up. I think I just recently posted my apartment decorating video where I talk about this wallpaper. So check that out if you haven't yet. Anyhow, okay, outfit. So I thrifted this. I actually put the button back on if you didn't see i'm so proud of myself i knew exactly what drawer it was in adhd props you always like remember exactly where things are even if it doesn't make sense to anyone else this sweater is from aritzia love her lied and other stories and other stories i love their knitwear it's so nice and comfortable but like it definitely is a heavier weight like it's not polyester i think it has some wool in it so it's very warm so since we're popping around outside that's the that's the vibe skirt was thrifted and then i just like cut it off and hemmed it i love doing that i just got these sheer text tights and we're gonna see if they work all day all night and like i'll get back to you because i know they're expensive i did get them for 25 dollars plus shipping so it's like 30 and i'm hoping they work out because i've ruined two tights already and i've only worn tights twice so i'm really fingers crossing it here i'm horrible with tights so let's hope these sheer text ones actually work out and my shoots boots oh and my bag i was thinking to do this so i got this bag at parisa wang i love it it's sometimes comes on sale i'll make sure to link it along with all my other outfits i'll be linking as well whatever i can because you know me thrifty girly not a lot in stock still you know it's giving vintage it's giving made up oh and my bow i got this at lulu's i don't know if they have any in stock i did post some like similar bows in a collage on my ltk okay i'm rambling and i'm late so i'm gonna go but welcome to my video and my week bye So it is raining. I had a whole idea of an outfit plan for this dinner I'm going to. And of course the rain is like, no, to the shoots boots, I'm not gonna wear them in the rain and have them ruined and resold again. So I'm like brainstorming, what do I wear? So I was thinking my silver pants, but like I'm thinking maybe the cream and the silver doesn't go. So I'm kind of panicking trying to figure out an outfit. But the thing is I need to leave in four minutes. So like, this is where we're at right now. Like, is this cute? Cause I need to wear tennis shoes. So I'm kind of like, I think I'm pretty like set on this sweater, but I could wear these pants like in the office this week. Hang on. I could wear these like black watch plaid pants, which would be really cute too. Let me try it on. I've had these pants for so long. I don't know if you can really even see it's so dark. Sorry. It's like it's 430 and literally pitch black almost, but I feel like I need to retire these pants to be honest. Um, 
unfortunately. All right, quick outfit change. I decided it's a Christmas bar. I don't really have many other Christmas plans here. So I'm like, I'll wear my plaid blazer. I kept the pants on, but as I put this bag on and like my shoes, I'm kind of thinking I need black pants, but it's like, we don't have time. I don't know. I think I need the black pants. Okay, quick, literally so quick, and I have to go. Much cuter, went for the black trousers. These are from Abercrombie, super cute, easy. I've had them for a few years. Shoes are New Balances, and my bag is from Teddy Blake. I may or may not have a coat anymore, but it was gifted to me. It's a really great bag. I love it because it's a crossbody, so it's just like an easy carry. Baby tea is from Abercrombie. I also love these. I need to get more. Jacket is Zara. I got it at a sample sale. And let me just throw on, I was thinking my leather trench coat because it's raining, but it's also like 50 degrees. So I'm just gonna do a little layering moment with Mr. Trenchy and yeah, that's cute, right? I think this is adorable. All right, friends, so happy Sunday. I'll be back, hopefully, I think I'll be having sushi Sunday if it's just like apps and drinks. And either way, we need to decorate my Christmas tree, but that might be a tomorrow thing, so we'll just see, but OOTD. Monday. Happy Monday. I am home. I just worked from home all day. This is my outfit. Pretty boring. I'll get to it later. I had to show you my dinner because I just got this pasta from Butterfield Market, which is on the Upper East Side, from our day of fun. My friend Leah that does the Nibbles account, New York Nibbles, check them out if you ever want Rex in New York City, recommended this pasta and vodka sauce, and it's as expensive, but it's not as expensive as eating out, and it's so good. Like, I am in love. And I just had to show it. And then we're going to decorate the tree tonight. I'm telling you, if you live in New York, you gotta try that pasta. It was so good. I am very full and very tired, which is probably not the best because I have a lot to do and it's already 8.30. So, this is what I did, you guys. I've been seeing, I'm sure, along with everyone else in the freaking world, that people are putting bows on their trees. And here's the thing. I... For one second thought, damn, I didn't realize this was like a basic thing to do now. It's viral. Everyone's doing it. Should I not do it? And then I thought, Mallory, what do you mean? You like it. You think it's cute. Do it. You've been having it saved on your thing for a year. Like, whatever. So we're doing it as me. I ordered the big spools of the ribbon, which I don't think I needed to do because I didn't really realize how big these were going to be. Like, this is freaking industrial size of my face ribbons. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end up with some ribbons to play with on other things, right? I have both red and pink. The colors are pearl pink, 25 yards, and which I thought I got 10 yards, but just red, plain old red. And it's just 5 eighths inch ribbon, you know, kind of cute. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna just put little bows on. And I think what I'm gonna do is I bought this ornament hook situation so I think I'm gonna like tie the bows put them on an ornament hook that way I don't have to untie them and then retie them every year I feel like that will save me time in the future and then I also have this big basket of ornaments that were from Target like three years ago when I first moved to New York City I bought a tree and it was like this big and I ordered ornaments online and I just didn't realize how small the tree was. I thought I didn't realize trees were so expensive. This one is only $40 and I have it linked on my LTK. I don't know if it's going to be relevant by the time you see this, but in case you wanted to get one and just set it up for the last few weeks of Christmas or keep it for next year, I have it linked. Two of my friends have the same tree as me and she's great. And especially for a small space like New York or a small apartment or maybe like a, just a side room or something easy. It's so cute. So anyway, we have a bunch of ornaments and a bunch of ribbons and I'm just gonna like go about it. I don't know what I want to do first. I think I'll do the ornaments first and then add the ribbons. I'll probably do like three, six, nine, 12, like 15 ribbons maybe. And I'll just divide that in half. So like, seven of each color and then that'll be good and then I've seen a lot of people do like the 
the Christmas topper be a big bow. So I might think about doing that as well. Anyway, yeah, so this is my outfit of the day. I thrifted this sweater. I love that it's a little bit of a dolman. It's really nice in the winter and summer because it's just kind of like a little blanket. And this is what I wore to work from home today. And I just kind of layered it with a little, you know, tank top cami thing. I feel like layering is very in, you know, kind of that vibe. And then my pants are hand-me-downs for my sister. She didn't want this set anymore. It came with like a, you know, a button-up top, which I like those button-up tops, but sometimes I feel like they're restricted. More of a pants girl. These are really cute. And then these boots are from literally high school. Just a pair of Uggs. Has anyone seen the whole thing going on, like Ugg situation going on? Because Uggs were bought out and like people are comparing their Uggs from like 2013 to what they just bought recently and they're like falling apart and not actually from Australia. These would never fall apart on me. I've had them for 10 years. Let's decorate and I'm watching this movie called Happiest Season and it's actually pretty good. It's making me laugh. It's really good acting. It's a little bit serious, but I like it. So we're gonna keep watching that, put up the tree, and that's the fun little day. That's the fun little day we have. measure the bows so what I did is just kind of like you know see what this might look like and I think this seems like a pretty good size look at it up here like kind of floppy cute love shark fancy vibes and the size of this one is 45 inches so I'm just gonna do one and then we'll know that it's 45 inches and see how it goes from there you know what I mean <laughs> tree was bigger but it's okay it's so so cute Ta-da! well that was my evening i'm going to now edit and get ready for tomorrow so yay happy monday let's see what tomorrow brings i'm going in the office so we'll have an outfit to share that's actually more like exciting <laughs> Good morning, it is Tuesday. I'm going in the office today, so here's my like professional fit. My pants are from Aritzia, but they were thrifted online. I got them at, I'm sorry, I'm like watching Paris Hilton this morning. She's so funny to me. So sorry about the weird TV. Anyway, okay, so my pants are Aritzia, but I thrifted them on Poshmark. I need to re-thrift them and get a smaller size because they're a little bit too big on me. I feel like they've grown over time and like I've just had them for a while so they're just a little bit baggy I know it's kind of in style but it's like baggy in the crotch type vibes anyway this top is from J. Crew. I got this at the outlet J. Crew outlet it's their like tuckable tee or something it's some kind of you know J. Crew thing and then my belt is from coach outlet I also bought that somewhat recently I think this fall and I just got it resized to fit me I think it's actually like maybe men's or something but I like her she fits perfect. This sweatshirt is from Loft. It's like a, not sweatshirt, but what is it? A little half zip sweater. So here we go. A little doo doo, you know. This is, I always like to wear layers in the office because so on the upper floor where our workrooms are and like our tech meetings and stuff are, it's like burning hot, like literally like hot air. And then on our showroom floor and like kind of where we will be a little bit today, it's freezing. So I need to have the layers and the options. So that's why is that. I could either go for like a boot look today, which might be nice, or tinnies. Let's try those on. Let me get some silks. My Christmas tree just makes me smile. I don't want to go to the office. But it's okay. I'm only in twice this week. Thank God. It's not every day. One time I went in every day and I swear I was like, this is 
not the vibe the week did go by really fast though okay these tennis shoes were one of my favorites this year and i made a little favorites thing if you um are looking to check out some stuff for christmas that you want or are looking for tennis shoes i really highly suggest those um they're men's so i'm wearing a size seven and i'm usually in the eight and a half i definitely think that the tennis shoes are the vibe because these are like boot cut and so they fall right on top and that's not really my style it's a little too masculine for me to do that so i'll stick to wearing those with like leggings or wide leg pants things like that so kind of boring but this is like a go-to outfit for me especially on a boring little day and then a coat i pulled this coat out but i'm starting to think maybe i'll wear my cheetah coat because i don't know how warm this one is although she's here this jacket is polo ralph lauren and it's super nice i got it at a work sample sale actually so eh, my camera's gonna die kidding me every day i this camera batteries are okay i think i'm gonna go for the cheetah i'm just like kind of really into her this year i feel like it's a nice weight for me because i walk to work so i do get a little bit hot but it does keep me warm especially with my layers on and then i just need my hat do da do okay i've been wearing this one so much lately because well cute i really don't know which side is front though for this all right here is my ootd this is linked on my amazon storefront and this jacket is from banana republic it's super old i think i've had it for like a few years now i think did i get this in high school i can't remember i want to say i got it in high school but i kind of think i got it when i lived in new york so i don't know something feels off so maybe i want to wear this coat actually i have so many you know ridiculous okay yeah this is kind of more the vibe because that one maybe was a little bit too tailored with my big fluffy hat um this one is from zara i got it a few years ago as well i really did a lot of shopping in outerwear when i first moved to new york and kind of collected in those beginning years and now i have so many coats that i i don't really ever buy any anymore i mean with that being said i also bought like i think one or two last year but still i used to buy like five a year because i was so obsessed with outerwear and now we have all the outerwear we need so anyway let's go to the office and I'll kind of take you along, but that's really it for Tuesday. Woo! I'm like so tired if you can't tell. that I need to start working out my apartment building redid the workout gym so I need to utilize it um and it's nice it has a peloton and I love pelotons and biking so I'm like let's do that try it two or three times a week so I'm working from home today so that's why I'm working out <laughs> anyway it's like seven in the morning I have like an epitome yesterday where I have to get like four videos done in the next week and a half and I started to have a panic, so I didn't sleep very well. But I'm going to focus on finishing this week's video, and then that way tonight I can start my next one, edit this one, and then we'll see what we can do about the fourth. I may or may not be able to get out all videos every week for the month of December, just because I'm going home to Kansas City, Missouri, and you know. Um, so that's a PSA. So hopefully you made it through here, and you're not wondering where I've been. Anyway outfit i got this last year or maybe the year prior from airy it's like a little matching set it's a hound's tooth it's so fun and like cheery and i'm freaking exhausted so i thought this would be a good match set to put on um and then i'm just gonna throw on my coat and i'm gonna do my workout class and that's probably it i'm like after this i shower and then i sit here and i work all day and night so that probably won't be very cool. I usually just put on sweatpants and a t-shirt. So that's Wednesday. Yay! Working out!
running freaking late. This is my outfit of the day. I got this top at Aritzia. It's um, thrifted. No, it was on super sale. I love it. It's Little Moon Aritzia. Jeans are mango. I splurged on these a while ago. Love them. Um, shoes are Mark Fisher's. I just like these because they're like a tennis shoe, but like a little bit more elevated. And then I'm going to throw on this black coat. And I have to go. I'm in the office. I have a fit meeting at 9 a.m. And it's 8.40, so I'm running late. And um, do apologize. Happy Thursday. Let's run, run, run. And <sighs> the day's just not off to a good start. Bye. <laughs> Yesterday was Friday. I'm not gonna lie. I was in my pajamas all day. It was a release day So I like signed on finished my video uploaded it posted it Then I had to hop into work and then the day got away from me and it was like no breaks till like 7 p.m And then I literally showered ordered food and laid on the couch and went to bed 9 30 and I think I actually fell asleep at like 10 So yesterday was kind of a wash if you will, but that's okay because today I have done so much already posted my holiday links shower clean the apartment and now we're gonna head to the grocery store saturdays have become my new sundays and i've been enjoying sundays more and i've actually been really liking it because it's not the whole saturday that's a wash it's just the morning but in for sundays you know you want to lay a little longer so then your whole day is just getting together for t the next day but really you could just do the mornings of saturdays and then have fun for like a day and a half do you know what i'm saying so this is what i'm wearing for grocery shopping time i got this at cost last year like kind of towards the end of the season in. I freaking love it. It's like a shacket. I love the how it's lower in the back and it's just made very nicely Like it's fully lined. Here's some like interesting seamings that they have and I've been meaning to do a video on like how you can tell things are nice or not so I'm keeping that in mind. I have not forgotten about that. It just like with the holidays and everything. I feel like I have videos that just it doesn't make sense yet, but it will get I'll get to it this winter. And then I'm wearing these pants. I actually got these from Victoria's Secret. I would say circa 2008. <laughs> they are old. They're like literally so low rise. Um, but with the bootleg trend like coming in again, I feel like if I just cover up the little sequin butt thing that's here, like who's to say that these aren't freaking aloe? pants or something and then my shoes are from uh the boots i like these shoes but they are a little bit annoying um i am gonna take the bus though because i'm lazy today hat is target i don't actually think i even need this hat it's 55 degrees i'm like what does that even mean for me now yeah i don't think i need a hat at all but i feel naked without a hat I feel like I have to wear a hat to the grocery, but I did just wash and blow dry my hair, so maybe we go sans hat. Okay, bye. Stopped into TJ Maxx as one does on a Saturday and was looking for a sweater to put the bows on, but I found this one and then I started looking at it further and it's just too cheap, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I need to buy a sweater and put bows on it. It's like freaking hot outside, but we're back from grocery shopping. So tired. Like I think I need to take a nap. Question mark. I honestly might need to lay down. I was gonna film a video, but maybe I need to save it. Okay, this is what I bought. And I'm leaving next Sunday, so I didn't buy a lot. I just got some cheese because I have some quesadilla stuff. My go-tos are always strawberries or grapes. Like I either decide strawberries, I decide grapes. Um, so I got some cheese. Strawberries will wash them like Monday, perhaps. Then I got my frozen cappuccino de pepe and pizzas. So those are a couple meals. And then I got snack mix, delish. And then I got spaghetti squash. I think I'm going to try to do that Borson spaghetti thing, potentially, or just like pepper and parmesan cheese. And I'll just go to my local market for that because it's just better, honestly. <laughs> and then... Lastly, oh my god, I'm telling you, I need to close my eyes. My throat does kind of itch. Like, am I getting sick? Okay, apple. 
the unexpected cheese i've been eating this so much like i love this apple and this cheese like together I'll, I'll probably get a snack before we go to dinner so that i don't eat so much but delicious and then pasta salad delicious again and i have like zucchini and still soup like I, I went to the store like seven days ago so i still have a lot of food to get through i just wanted to get enough to make it through the whole week and into christmas vacation because i don't know why i just feel like i just got hit with like a ton of bricks so maybe i need some tea some tea would be good good night i guess <laughs> it's like two o'clock well, in true Mal fashion, I forgot, I took a nap, and I forgot to do an outro. So, goodbye. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed my week in my life with my outfit video. Good week, and now we're ready for holiday season. So, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I post new videos weekly. Just filmed my top 10 thr thrift find video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll put it here. Um, so much more to come. Apartments, city, blah, blah, blah. So, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!